Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's episode is a follow-up to a previous one in which we talked about how to clean your hydration pack using dish soap. In that specific video, I talked about the option to use vinegar, lemons, baking soda or lemons and baking soda together. And there was a question from one of our followers asking about how do you go about cleaning the hydration pack using baking soda and lemons and this is what we're going to do today. The reason why some people avoid using dish soap is that sometimes it can leave an unpleasant taste after you clean the hydration pack some people can't tolerate it which is not the case when you are using lemon juice and baking soda both lemon juice and baking soda are known for being very effective with strong odors the one thing to keep in mind is that the chemical reaction between the citric acid in the lemon juice and the carbonate base in the baking soda produces a fizzy reaction due to the co2 gas that we usually find in soda so just make sure when you are mixing the pack keep it a little bit away from you so right here i have my hydration pack a three liters of spray hydration pack i've got some baking soda and four lemons first of all i'm going to start by rinsing the hydration pack my pack is pretty clean so i'm just going to use some water to rinse it off but i would recommend if your hydration pack is not clean to use dish soap first before using lemons and the baking soda so i'm just gonna give it a good shake here rinse it off and get rid of the water in the pack and leave it aside before we jump to the next step i juiced four lemons that i'm going to use for the cleaning but i believe that three to four lemons should suffice next i'm going to pour some water into the hydration bladder and then i'm going to add some baking soda for the measuring, I'm going to eyeball it for the most part. So after adding the baking soda, I'm going to shake it very well. As you can see, there is some residue in the bottom of the pack. So just make sure that everything is mixed very well. And then I'm going to add the lemon juice to the mix. And as I said earlier, this is going to produce a fizzy reaction. Nothing crazy as you can see here. Just add in all of the lemon juice and then I'm going to close the hydration pack, make sure that it's secure, give it a good shake and then I'm going to leave it aside for about 15 to 20 minutes to make sure that it's doing its work. Mix it again and after 20 minutes I am going to use a cleaning brush. This is a brush that comes with a kit or clean it kit and I'm going to add the link in the description below in case you are interested. So I'm just gonna use the brush here to make sure that I do a little bit of scrubbing to make sure that there is nothing that's sticking to the sides of the pack. And this is really helpful if the pack is really nasty. So that looks pretty well. I'm just gonna give it a good shake and I'm going to start rinsing. You would want to rinse it a couple of times. I would say two to three times to make sure that nothing is left in there. And that's about it. That's pretty much it. From here, you want to make sure that the hydration pack is dry. And there are a lot of methods to use. The very basic and rudimentary one is using paper towel. So just grab a, a bunch of paper towel and then place it inside. Make sure that you are drying all of the pack and that should work. The second option is using this hanger that also comes with the kit that I was talking about. And this hanger works pretty well. So you basically just place it inside of the pack and then you hang it to air dry, probably outside or even in the kitchen. And that's a very good solution. And then the third option is by using a baking whisk, not this one in this video here. There's a larger version of it and you basically just place it inside of the pack as well. And then you leave the pack to air dry. And perhaps after that, you can again use some paper towel just to make sure that it's 100% dry. Thank you all for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. We are Trekking Pals, Habiba and Alex, amateur hikers and backpackers. And we create video content about hiking, backpacking and adventure traveling. And if you haven't followed us on Instagram, please do because we share a lot of behind the scenes of our adventures as well as tips and tricks about hiking, backpacking and adventure traveling. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you soon on a new adventure.